if you are a Toyota owner and you have one of these smart key fobs and you want to try to prevent auto theft and uh, save battery life on your key fob, then uh, stick around. Okay, um, normally you can just go up to the car and unlock it with your finger. It's got a sensor, right? And to lock it, you just press this button right here or just tap. Okay, lock, unlock, and um, on here, unlock. Now there's a way to um, protect your key fob from the thief stealing uh, its data. So you just press and hold onto the lock button. You'll see the red light blink and then you press the unlock button twice. What it does is, see it stops blinking right now. What it does is it actually uh, deactivated the key fob. So now the, that the key fob is deactivated, uh, I'm gonna try to turn on the engine. So I've hit the brakes. Press brake pedal and touch power switch with key. So it's not reading it because the, de the uh, key fob is deactivated. Windows are, or the side mirrors are closed in. Now if I try to open the car Watch what happens. Nothing. Now after the key fob is deactivated, um, I'm going to go up to the car and I'm going to try to unlock it. It's not doing it. Not sensing anything. So that's one way to deactivate the fob and save battery and protect yourself from auto theft. Uh, to just activate the uh, key fob again, you just press you unlock once and here we go let's lock so key fob is activated unlock and you just go into the car but if I lock the car it actually activated the fob for me and it's fine so now it's deactivated I'm gonna press the power There you have it. It's turning on and we are good to go. This smart key fob is um, amplifying a signal that's always emitting 24 seven. It's trying to find and communicate with the, its vehicle, which is um, kind of silly. It also apparently um, is trying to communicate with every other Toyotas out there even if it's not your own vehicle. So therefore it's using up a lot of batteries. So imagine us owning our Toyota and we got our key fob in our pockets and we're walking by every Toyota. It's actually communicating with one, one another and saying, hey, how are you doing, right? So um, yeah, that's a fun fact for you. I've read and heard about um, thieves stealing people's cars. Uh, even though they're sleeping in the middle of the night, their key fobs are inside their house and the next morning they wake up um, their car is gone so what these thieves are doing is they're using a laptop with a software and uh, because these key fobs are emitting a signal uh, trying to find its vehicle uh, the thieves could just stand right outside the front or back door if owners are leaving their key fobs right by the entry doors then these laptops will read the signal and download whatever it's emitting and uh, making their own key fob on the spot and that's how they're stealing these the, the the cars from from owners so you have to be very very careful with this don't forget if your key fob dies and you're trying to get into your vehicle and it's locked there's this little switch here you pull down and the spare key comes out yeah that's it you can just open the car door manually if the key fob dies but then again you can't drive the car if the key fob uh, battery is dead it's the same thing as deactivating the fob all right i hope this uh helps you um protect your vehicle from auto theft uh in the future um i am paranoid so what i do is i actually 
I'm paranoid, so I actually uh, deactivate uh, both fobs because um, I have two fob key fobs. I deactivate it when I get into the house, just in case, because my keys are in the kitchen drawer, which is near the entrance. Uh, yeah, that's where I keep my keys. I may put it somewhere else in the future, but it's just not convenient. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Ah. Don't forget to like and or subscribe to my channel just to help me out. Um, it helps the algorithm and it motivates me to make more videos. Thank you. A growing trend of criminals using key fobs to break into or even steal your car. And now one man is sharing video and the story about how it happened to him. CBS 4's Deborah Suverina is live in Southwest Miami Day to explain. Deborah, good morning. Good morning, Maribel and Nicole. You know, police say that it only takes a matter of seconds for this to happen. And what these people are doing is that they're trying to access your key fob. Now, we all know that as long as you're within a certain range of your car, you can use your key fob to lock and unlock your vehicle. Well, that's the technology that they're trying to tap into. There's a special device that's being used that is able to tap into the signal that your key fob is always transmitting. And using that device, they're going into cars and stealing them. Now, let's take a look at what I'm talking about. Now, in this image, you'll see this man. He's holding a black box in his hand. That is the device that's being used to tap into the signal that your key fob is transmitting. Now, that was a steal from a surveillance video. And this all happened around 3 o'clock in the morning. And in this surveillance video, you can see one of the thieves sitting inside of the victim's 2020 Cadillac Escalade. He then calls over the person wearing the red hoodie. Now, when that person, but before the guy with the red hoodie comes over, he has that device where he unlocks the key fob. And from there, he hops into the car where police say they then deactivated the car's OnStar system. A few moments later, they start the car and drive off. The reader, I'm told by the detectives that it is only, you can only acquire it by a, a car dealership. It's brand specific. Um, so that's why I didn't pick up the code from my wife's key, for example. So they knew that this was the car that they were going for. And so here's the thing, just like your key fob, the device has to be within a certain range for it to work. So you saw the guy standing very close to the home. And in this case, the victim says he would often keep his keys right near the entrance. And so that's how that device was able to easily pick up that signal. Now, one thing police say you can do is to keep your keys away from your front door. Another thing you can do to help yourself is to purchase an RFID box that you can use to put your key fob in. It locks that signal so that no one can tap into it and again another thing to do and if you are not able to get that box is to keep your keys away from the front of your home for now we are live in southwest dade i'm deborah Suverain, cbs4 this morning